Hi, I'm ADC Art Attack, that marker artist. Now it's no secret, I have a lot of markers. And now I have all of this. Having just received another 1,000 markers, I'm wondering, is it finally time for me to start recommending one of my favorite brands of marker? How's it going everyone? I hope you are all doing fantastic and welcome to a brand new video. Now before we get started with today's video, it is important to note that this video is sponsored by Ohuhu, a brand I'm sure you know by now. And for today's video, Ohuhu have kindly sent me this. Aye, that's a lot of markers. What a problem to have, huh? <laughs> I'm actually really excited they did this because I was skeptical when this marker brand came to the market, another marker brand. Yay, we don't have enough of them. But over the many years that I've been using this brand, they have very quickly become one of my favorite markers to use. Now, Ohuhu are widely accepted as the best cheap alcohol marker available on the market. In fact, not mentioning any names, I have run tests and found them to be better than some of the more premium brand of marker. <laughs> I am dancing a fine line here. All right, so what are we doing today? Well, Ohuhu have just released a brand new marker collection, the Kala series, with a brand new redesign of the broad nib and a complete redesign of the marker's casing. Which I'm actually interested in, one, why the change, and two, is it a good change? They also have replaceable nibs and are refillable, which I know for many is a big selling point of their favorite brands. And so at the extremely low price that these markers come in at, with all the new features and changes, they could really shift the power in the marker world. And of course, with this being a sponsored video, we have some great deals for you and a discount code. By using my code ADC Art Attack, you will get 10% off of your order of the Kala series if you order from the Ohuhu website direct. And of course, links to Ohuhu can be found down below in the description of this video. Take a moment to check them out because the Kala series only just released. They are brand new and I think by the end of this video, you are going to love them. I'm actually so excited and curious to try these, so let's get them out. All right, so as we see here, I've got the four collections of the Kala series. We've got the skin tones, landscape tones, illustration tones, and the basic tones. Basic tones? I've got no idea what the basic tones are. This is the one that I'm like super excited for though. Skin tones, it's always one of the most difficult things to get right are the skin tones in any marker collection. So having an entire skin tone, and there are a lot of, how many? There's 24 in there, 24 skin, this is gonna be awesome. <laughs> I got no idea where to start here. This is all unscripted. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, right, I'm gonna start. I'm gonna open up one of the biggest ones first before we actually like get started with using them. Oh, that's nice. Check it. Oh yeah. I like the little handle that they have. It's really nice. Look at it. It swing. There we go. Oh, I broke it. <laughs> no. Did I break it? Oh, it wasn't on properly. All right, I didn't break it. That'd be great. Before I actually get any of these out, I just want to say that the packaging is, yeah, this is by far the best packaging of any alcohol marker I've ever seen. I love these cases. Seriously, really, really nice. Okay, so as you can see, the new design of these markers are thick to thin. We start off very thick on one end where the broad nib is, and it goes thin towards the end. I guess I will talk about the shape of this and how it feels in the hand when we get using it. I'm not gonna discuss that right now because I think it'd be a little bit unfair if I start mentioning it without actually using it. Uh, there is one thing that I can feel on the other side of my finger here. That. So that right there is the color. Yes. This is old red. So they've put a little bit of a sticker here to just show what colors they are. Now you can remove these, I'm probably gonna, but it is a nice optional. I do like that they've actually included something there to tell you what the color, oh, it says it on the end. Yeah, it says the name of the color on the end as well. Huh, that's cool. So I'm gonna take a look at the fine nib first and oh. So as you can see there, we've got a really long bullet nib and it's actually longer than some of the ones that I'm used to, but it has a really fine point on it. And that looks really, really good. I, um, I am very excited to try you out. Oh, that's easy. You can, oh, yes. Okay, so I have, I have a bit of glass in my thumb right there that I've never sought to get removed. But yeah, I have a bit of glass in my thumb, which causes me a lot of discomfort when I'm removing caps of pens. I can just twist this. That is actually really cool. You can just twist it and it pops right off. Looking on the other side here, uh, we're gonna check out this new broad nib. Now this is a redesign, it's a new broad nib, so I'm really curious to see what this looks like. I'm not sure how much of that you can see, but there is a, um, it's, 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 it's very hard to explain. It goes narrow. Uh, it is different to other broad nibs that I've seen. This is very different actually. 
just want to look at these different sets here. Like, let's have a look at the color differences. Ha! Huh, huh, there is one thing in each of these collections that is a huge deal. I'm so happy. Black, black, black. There is a black marker in every one. Thank you. If you are new to my channel, you probably have no idea why this is a big deal. But every time I get a collection of markers, the first marker I look for is black. Black is the most used colored marker that I have ever owned. I have replaced this color more than any other marker in my collections. And whenever I buy a collection of markers and it doesn't have a black, I get very, very upset. So this is... Thank you. Okay, so it's time to get started with using these markers. And for that, I've chosen a coloring book because it's kind of my thing over here. I'll be using the Creatopia by Vex today. Now I've tackled this book previously and the paper quality is fantastic. I had zero issues with it in the past, so I have zero doubts about using it for these markers today. So starting it off with the brand new broad nib, it's different. It certainly feels better than the original nibs. I've been very vocal about my objections toward the broad nibs in the past. This one, however, has a huge variety of functions. So we get the standard large coverage for this nib. However, with how fine this edge is, we can actually use this for very small and precise areas coupled with the absolutely perfect ink flow of these markers. I'm already wondering if this nib is the only one I'm going to need. Now I chose this particular page to run the test because it's got a lot going on. I'm not interested in making a quality piece of artwork. My interest here is to get a feel for these markers and I'll be using a variety of different styles to test them. But let's talk about that casing design. It's unusual. Now I'm doing this voiceover having finished using these markers so that I've had a lot more time using them to be able to comment on this part. If you intend to use this broad nib, you're going to be rotating the pen quite a lot to make use of all of those different sides. And these pens are surprisingly comfortable. Like many others, I'm a roller. I roll the pen between my fingers quite a lot when I'm doing my artwork, and you would think that a rounded grip would be better suited for someone like me. It's not. And I think this is due to the irregular design of these pens. Every time you rotate it, you get a different grip, which allows it to be more comfortable over longer periods of time. Now with this pen being thicker towards the broad nib, I find that it helps a lot more with the precision, whereas the thin side helps a lot more with the freedom of movement using the bullet. Speaking of the bullet, oh, I like it a lot. These markers almost feel made for me. The ink flows are at the perfect speed for my strokes. However, being that I do normally use brush tips, these markers will have a different and more specific use for me in regards to the style of art I'm doing. For example, if we try to blend, Oh, <laughs> yeah, that, okay, that works. Okay, so I'm gonna give these skin tones a try. If I'm gonna be trying to blend, might as well do it with these. Okay, so I didn't even test the colors. I trusted the labels and just began. I'm not even taking my time here and just look how easy this is. I've actually not even stopped using the broad nib. Unless specifically trying to, it feels so comfortable and easy to use. I have no real need to use the other side and that is saying a lot. This broad nib is so versatile, I, I really, it just feels great to use and I don't feel like I need to use any other type of nib. This is not a position I'm used to being in. Right, so one thing I haven't tested during this video is the refills or the replacement nibs and that's because I don't have any. But what I am gonna do now is just see how easy it is to remove one of the nibs on these pens. And if it is something you can do without any instruction, I don't know how to do it, never tried to do it. Let's see what happens when I do try. All right, so I would imagine that you would probably want to use tweezers for this and not your fingers, but 
I don't have any tweezers. Oh, I'm gonna get so messy. Oh, did it. Well, that was, that was easy. Put it back in. Now that's, that's, that's ridiculously easy. A little bit messy. But anyway, here are the results of the marker tests. Now, please do keep in mind, I was only testing the markers, not creating a serious piece of art. That is why it is not complete. Don't worry, I will be making a serious piece of artwork really soon using these markers. But the colors we see here are vibrant and beautiful. They look absolutely stunning. In areas where we blended, as we saw, I weren't taking my time and yet managed to achieve high quality results. The small areas were of no concern. The broad nib handled them without any difficulties and really the only time I ever felt like using the other nib was quite literally a matter of preference, not necessity. I think these results show a level of quality we expect from a professional grade marker with absolutely even and smooth coverage, fast drying and collections that are complete. Each with a wide range of colors capable of individually managing a variety of art projects. So, what do I think about the new color markers by Ohuhu? Are they worth it? Are they good? <laughs> yes. Yeah, they're good. I've got to be really careful what I say right now, but I think these may be the best markers on the market right now. <sighs> At a later date, I will put these up against some other markers for comparison, but as of right now, these tick all of the boxes. They're refillable, they're replaceable, they're one of the cheapest, if not the cheapest alcohol marker on the market, and the quality is second to none. This is a major, major upgrade. Now I know I'm putting a lot on the line here today saying that these are the best markers I have ever used, but when you factor in their price, it's really hard to argue that. I don't think any marker, any competitor on the market right now can challenge these. I loved using them. I thought they were great. The only thing that I think could make them better, I haven't checked on this, so I don't know if it's available, but if we could get a brush variant, if they had a brush variant for these markers, oh, mm. Yeah, that'd be something special. But you can get brush markers by Ohuhu if you want, just not these, which are actually just as good as well. But unfortunately, that is all we have time for today. I hope you enjoyed the video and a big thank you to Ohuhu for sponsoring us today. I, I never thought I would take a marker sponsor, but Ohuhu, I mean, I just love their products. I think they're, I, I think they're great. And again, just a quick reminder, if you did want to pick up any of the products you saw here today, there will be links down below in the description. Go down there, check it all out. There'll be discount codes. There's things down there. Yeah. Happy holidays, everyone. I hope you are having a great month and I look forward to seeing you all again in the next video. Till next time, take it easy. Bye-bye.